What we want people to know is um, it's right now a really good time for them to make sure that they have a plan for their animals. So if they can't care for their pets, they should have a family member or a neighbor or a friend that already knows how to do that for you just in case you end up. Hi, I'm Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by Michelle Grundahl, who is the coordinator for Bucks County Animal Response Team, or BCART. Thank you for coming today, Michelle. Thanks for having me. Today we're going to talk about some tips that people might find useful and some resources because in this time of COVID-19, our pets are really, really counting on us. So can you give us a couple of tips that might be useful? Sure. Yeah. What we want people to know is um, it's right now a really good time for them to make sure that they have a plan for their animals. It's always good to have an emergency plan in your household and you should include your animals in that. Um, right now, we want people to also think about having a buddy system set up. So if they can't care for their pets, they should have a family member or a neighbor or a friend that already knows how to do that for you just in case you end up uh, hospitalized or have another emergency. Uh, there's some great tips, and I understand that there are a number of great resource organizations throughout Bucks County. Can you list some of them and tell us how they coordinate and work together? Sure. So right now we have a, a coalition of sorts of some of the uh, great animal uh, welfare organizations that are in Bucks County. So I've been working with um, the Bucks County SPCA, Women's Animal Center, um, Animal Lifeline, the Bridge Clinic, and Sam's Hope. Um, and along with that is the Bucks County Emergency Management, who has been helping us as well. That's great. And I know that we have seen some issues. What are some of the more recent, frequently occurring contacts that you're getting? Um, well, it seems that you know a lot of people are having trouble um, feeding their families, and so pets are part of the family. And so what we're doing is um, trying to support the food banks with some pet food. So that's a need that we're seeing in the, the county, and we're trying to help take care of that. And that's something, you talk about a great public-private partnership. I know that the Bucks County detectives actually got involved, and we, we were able to distribute a, a whole ton of food to a lot of the yes. pantries. Yeah, it's very helpful that we're supporting about 16 pantries. Um, and so it was very good that they were able to help deliver to some of those. And, you know, if we all volunteer just a little bit, we can get a lot done. So, Michelle, you've talked about how people need help, but if people want to help, mm -hmm. How can they help others? Well, there's a couple ways that you can do that. So you could um, provide some donations to your local food pantry. That would be great. If there's pet food that that pantry can accept and is willing to accept, you can support them directly. Um, or if you'd like to donate um, uh, funds, we can use that as well, certainly for sure, by going to our website. Um, or if you want to become a volunteer, we always need volunteers. So we would appreciate uh, any help that we can get. I could speak from personal experience. I got a little guy, a little dog. Uh, he's a mutt. He's getting more walks than ever, That's but uh, they're helping us stay sane in a crazy world, and we owe it to them to make sure that we're taking good care of them. Do you have any last uh, any last tips you'd like to leave us with? Yeah, um, I think it's really important. You're right. I mean, we want our animals to, to stay in our households and to, to be safe and healthy with us. It's a very good um, mental stress reliever to be able to spend time with your pets. Um, and there's always other emergencies that you can think about preparing for. So it's always good to have a collar on your pet with a phone number. Um, if you can microchip your pet and make sure that microchip is registered, that's great. Um, and you should always consider keeping a supply of food, medication, and, uh, and your veterinary records handy as well. All right. Thank you very much for joining us today. This has been Matt Weintraub, Bucks County DA. I've been joined by Michelle Grondel, who is the coordinator of Bucks County Animal Response Team. We'd like you to not only be safe and to be well, but take good care of your pets too. Thank you.